welcome to this week's video. So I'm using the road mic again, I hope it's not making a lot of racket. I felt inspired tonight just to come out. There's some beautiful hazy light behind me, just up there. Can't really see it. Just need to take my word for it. There's some beautiful hazy light up there. Um, I've brought the macro lens back out again and I thought I would come down to another woodland which is not far from me because I wanted to test that theory that we're about an hour from sunset. Um, we're right in, the heart, right in the middle of golden hour and I wanted to test the theory that the sunset, sunrise hours were better for bugs. I wouldn't say they're less active, <laughs> they're definitely eating me alive just now. But it's beautiful, the bird song is in full flow and I've seen about five or six different species of flowers including bluebells here which I'm, I didn't expect. So I'm very happy, I'm going to have a little wander and see what we can find. So it doesn't look like we're going to get much of a sunset tonight, um, as you can see behind me, up there, that sort of murky grey sky has taken over which is such a shame because the weather looked like I had so much potential today. I've only done half the walk so far and it is incredibly busy with people. Obviously macro photography as I said in my other videos is one of those kind of things you have to really slow down to sort of look properly and listen I think as well. I can hear a bee buzzing behind my head just now. <laughs> so it's one of those things you have to really, really slow down and sort of take your focus away from the fact that there's people walking about you. So I've come down to this little river here um, to have a look and there's some beautiful flowers behind me. So I'm just going to literally hang about as long as I can until it gets dark or starts to get dark. And then I'm going to go and check out the other part of the forest, which does definitely have flowers. I'm not going to get the backlit fo photos I was hoping for, but um, luck it doesn't matter. It's nice to be out. It's actually amazing how quickly you just zone yourself out when you're doing macro photography. It almost drags you into its own little world, obviously willingly, <laughs> but it is, it sucks you in. And I have to admit, the serenity of it and just getting to be completely silent for a good, I don't know, half an hour now, um, which isn't like me, I like to talk, <laughs> but just to be totally silent and just looking at things and assessing things. I found the baby cat pillar, which was quite quite pleased myself with but I find myself stopping every single like tree like this one's beautiful this red here like I find myself focus there you go I find myself stopping at every single tree just excited wondering whether there's a caterpillar on it or some kind of beastie it's fascinating really enjoying it this is lovely look at this look at this can't believe I live here <laughs> Shush! So, there's uh, the birds are squawking, the blue tits are singing. I saw one earlier, so I know it was a blue tit. And I just swallowed a bug, which I probably photographed 10 minutes ago. So, yeah, I thought I would just wrap up the video just now um, while well, it's quiet and all the families have gone home to watch telly, which is great for me because I get the place myself now. But uh, I've really enjoyed this little macro adventure that I've been on. It's definitely been quite different from what I expected it to be. It's definitely made me slow down a lot more and appreciate things. And landscape photography, I mean, behind me, look at this. It's, you get to see these beautiful sights and you get to photograph them. But macro photography takes you to a whole other level. And it makes you, as I said earlier, you sort of stop and you listen and you look more. And uh, I think it makes you appreciate your landscapes. I mean, this is a really local woodland for me and I didn't bring the car, I've left it at home. And I think it definitely makes you, God, the birds are so noisy. I wonder if I could just pat this on a tree here. I'm going to put you on a tree, hang on. Um, it definitely makes you appreciate landscape photography in a completely different way, which I didn't expect. Um, seeing everything on a sort of macro level, um, it definitely, I think it changes how you look at things as well. And what, one of the things I didn't expect it to do was turn me into some sort of Zen master, where I'm becoming really, really mindful of everything as I'm walking around. I'm more aware of the noises around about me. I don't, I, when I first came into the woods, I felt a little bit scared. I haven't been out for ages and I haven't, I think that's probably probably why because I've been in like 
not isolation, but I've been in lockdown for weeks and weeks and weeks and this is only the second, sort of, apart from daily walks around the house, this is the second time I've been out of the house to go and do landscape photography. Now that I'm here and I've adjusted to the noises and I've adjusted to the birds, it's such a beautiful, peaceful place and I feel so much better. Oh, there's a leaf just falling off the tree. So picturesque and perfect and serene and I've loved every second of it. So I've currently got you perched on a tree. <laughs> I think I'm going to wrap up today's video here. Um, I know it's been a slightly shorter video this week. Uh, last week was a 12 minute bonanza. So, so I thought I'd go a bit easier on you this week. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like this video, then like and subscribe. And until next week, I'll see you soon. Bye.